welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome you all beautiful people here. And today I would love to start by saying thank you so much for watching the first and the second episode of this show, Rising Above the Challenges of Life with Sharon Mali. And um, um, for those who are new here, I would love that you subscribe to this channel for us to keep doing the work of God. We are doing this for God. We are doing this for Christ. So the, when you subscribe, share, you will have helped someone out there who needs help, a young lady out there who needs help, who needs advice, who needs to, to know that there is someone who has gone through something that they've gone through or that they are going through and they are not alone. So uh, I once again uh, request you to subscribe to this channel and share with someone else. And for those uh, who didn't watch the second episode, please you can check the link up right here. You'll find it there. Click on it. Watch the second episode because we are continuing from the second episode. And uh, uh, not to forget, I'll be uploading a video or an episode every Sunday. So please watch out every Sunday. There'll be an episode that comes out. God bless you for that. Um, thank you so much once again. Um, on the second episode, we, um, we ended by saying that uh, sin is sin. I was telling my story how I got pregnant in church with the man that I met in church in my in my in the choir in the worship team um, after I had just lost my dad so it was just shortly I had just lost my dad shortly and then I met this man in church we started dating and in the, dat the, the dating process we had issues here and then for you who have dated before and you know that it is not a smooth road you know so um, that man uh, had left the country to go and work in another country. So he left me in Uganda. And there's something I didn't clarify on in the second episode, that when he left the house where he was staying with his friends, he started renting his own house. Because if I could take you a little bit back, when the family asked him to choose between the, um, his family and me, he chose me, so he left home. When I say he chose me, I'm not saying that uh, he chose me so we got married because I'm not married. I told you earlier that I'm not married. I'm still single, so we, we didn't get married. But yes, you get to know more about that. But yes, he left the home, their home, and then went and started staying with his friends. So after, um, when he got a job, he decided to go and uh, start renting. And he started staying alone so I used to frequent his place obviously not to do anything much but because sometimes he could be at work and I could just be around his place cleaning up doing those small things for him and you know like I said we didn't have parents to direct us I didn't have my father being that he was the only parent that I know and uh, my paternal auntie was living a certain life that I told you about in the second episode I'm just trying to recap so that you catch up um so he left me in that house where he was staying. He left me in that room. It was a single room that he was renting. That's where he left me. Um, he, according to him, he says he didn't know that I was pregnant. I personally didn't know that I was pregnant. For five months, I didn't know that I was pregnant. How didn't I know that I was, I was pregnant? Because I had hormonal imbalance issues. So I didn't realize that I was actually pregnant until my friend told me that, Sharon, you're pregnant. And we went and checked, and they told me that I'm pregnant. Like I said, I went back home, and when I got back home, I felt bad, I cried, I prayed every prayer that I could pray. I was born again, as an, I was in church. I got pregnant in church, so I don't want you to be misled by thinking that I probably wasn't born again. No, I was a born again, and I was a worship leader by that time. Even the, 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 the father of the pregnancy was known. So I get home, 
and I got my phone after the prayer. I called him and I'm like, um, I am pregnant. And he asked me, what are we going to do about it? And I told him there is no question about it. I am not aborting this kid. What if it's the only child in my stomach? You know, I told him I'm not going to abort. He told me, okay, anything you choose to do, I am okay with it. So I told him I'm keeping the pregnancy. I'm going to give birth to this baby because I'm not sure whether it's the only child inside of my, my stomach, so, you know, my uterus. So I'm not, I'm not removing it. And he told me it's okay. And he went ahead and told me, I'm going to tell my parents about it so that they just know that you are pregnant. And in case they come around to help, it will be good. But I'm going to just let them know. I'm like, it's okay. I also need to tell my auntie about it because my paternal auntie was still alive by that time. So um, I, I was in a lot of emotions because I didn't know. While I was, I was confident that I was keeping the baby, I still didn't know how everything is going to turn up. I didn't know how I'm going to, to leave, being that I wasn't working by that time. I didn't have money. Um, I didn't know where my mom was. I told you that I'll tell you my, a story about my mom. That should be a separate one. I don't want to, to mix it here, but time to come in front there. <laughs> I'll tell you about my mom, yeah. But yes, I didn't know where my mom was, so I didn't know who to run to. My auntie, my paternal auntie, like I told you, she was a lame lady. She didn't give birth to kids. She raised us with our dad, but she didn't have children. We didn't know any of her children. So I didn't know how to tell her that saying, but I mean, I went back home to my auntie. And when I reached she looked at me. Nga abantu haba kulu mwa mani. Ya antunuli ya wati. Na ngamba. I was going to say my nickname. <laughs> that she used to call me. Na yo erio kandireke. <laughs> but she, yeah, she told me. Oliru buto. Just by looking at me without even me saying anything. Baga meri soli omu kulu wa wadugala yo wadaba. Wadugala, wadugala. So... I told her, why are you saying that? She told me, I can't see you. Nze nko kuziza, chenjo gira kwa nchimani. Nemoboza, olabide kuchinti indiru butu. Na ngamba, um, kala ye chuse, ato ogeze. A pregnant woman, tasogula kubula. Nemgamba kari. My auntie, Natula, Nambuzo kola ewa. Nemugambi Sudani. Nangamba, hmm, Sudani. Okay. So, like I told you, that my I, my origin, you get it? Nina mumsai guava Sudani. So, kati anti wagewe nchimugamba, she immediately was like, okay, Sudani, you are no kari. I think for her, she felt like a... a <laughs> Ahokumpi, I tell you, never relatives. So obviously, we could have come in case of anything. Kabo mani we have to have a kulu. I guess I go okulaba to find a solution. Gawichi ali in her mind before. So um, she tells me, I think to ino gende wa anko wo ne tumogamba chomwami. You know, like you're in this condition and. Uh, did you guys, had you talked about getting married? I was like, yes, we talked about getting married. And he told me he has gone to, 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 to Sudan, to South Sudan to work so that he, he can come back and we get married. So my auntie told me, then let's just go talk to your uncle 
tumugambi nti ogenda leto omusajje waka kati fewe tumalo munnyonyola omusajja tumugambe afuko kulaba akomewo so that you, got, you can get married to him do you love him as like yes i do my auntie told me then that's okay actually no luto tetulogera ko just to gende tugame anko nti uh, uleta musajja waka mintuka ewa anko wange we straight away we went to our uncle's place we reached my uncle's place a brother to my dad he's like their elder brother kwa yali acha yem achali mlamne katiwali so tutuka at my uncle's place and of course he welcomes us and then uh, he asks us each to lese and my auntie tells the story she narrates the story to my to my uncle and my uncle asked the first question that my uncle asked was is that man our tribe so it seems they had some kind of tribalistic issues or whatever tribalism <laughs> so katinga mobuza aunt is is he our tribe and our auntie said no he's not our tribe and my auntie asked my uncle what do you mean is there a problem with that when did we get to this point where we have to look for our tribe mates banabana mama we sina sina our rumi rafi sina our tribe yes and our and our uncle said okay maybe just tell me their tribe his tribe and we said the guy's tribe and the moment we say the guy's tribe like this ho uncle wangena ko bomulanga he was like no 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 those people we can't we can't we can't and he said so many things of course in my language they were speaking my language i know my language by the way so so i felt bad i was so frustrated so i told my uncle i'm like you know what i'm the one getting into this marriage and um i love this man he loves me so i don't see a reason as to why we we cannot get married to each other my uncle said okay If you guys want to get married and you want to get married to that man please go but just know for us you know we are not part of this we are not part of this setting we are not part of this relationship i hope you've heard me right i'm like okay my auntie told me omani ka start to take the uncle cha chaloza e cha gamba kati fe tugende twe sotinge so uh we left and as we were leaving like this my auntie stopped a bit on the way and she told me abana abawala mbamanyi i hope with what your uncle has said you're not hoping to or having a second thought of aborting that baby i told my auntie I'm not going to abort the baby. I love the baby. I don't know what I'm going to go through with the baby, but I'm going to keep it. My auntie told me, "E wa fete to jamu mbuto. E ya no malo chikola. Goma ni ojakufa." So probably ali auntie sa, probably ali auntie sa. But I also have witnessed people who have died ngaba jamu mbuto. So let's pause right there on the story. Um I know like I said earlier that sin is sin. You cannot try to sugarcoat it or call it something else that it is not. And I know that uh God hates sin. That's the truth. God hates sin. and when we sin like i said that there are consequences when we sin there are so many and the bible also says that the wages of sin is what death so you could be there you've aborted and you are not you've not died uli mulam katinga muli goloza anti bo chikolo go kubiri no chidamu go kusatu no chidamu go kuna you think it is okay no my darling girl it's not okay you can lose your life you could actually lose your uterus there are people who have done it and they have lost their uteruses 
Some have actually died. I know of a friend who was going to die because of abortion. Um, remember, you've not just fornicated, but you've, you're also committing, I'll call it murder. That's a road I was taking as well, you get. Just that, you know, there are so many voices. Like right now, you could be pregnant as I speak to you, and you are thinking, I think the best thing to do is Kurujam. Let me take you back to my story. I have friends who told me to abort. There's a particular friend I know. She used to do this as a, a regular, it wasn't something new to her. Ochitegeira. Chenyizo kale chenyizo okugamba e chenja ulonti ate ye yamala na fumbi do atero muntu ye nyinyo yogebabi kola anga na ye. So sima ime ba facing ambu fumba wawe and all sorts of things. But te chichija konti no si chibi. Chiba chichari chibi. Ochitegeira. So obo yu omsayo butari kumsango. Kuba that's innocent blood. That's innocent blood that you're spilling. And I think it's in the book of Proverbs where the Bible talks about the seven things, the six things that God hates. And among those six things, there's um, one of the sins is to say, the, 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 let me just go there shortly. So that's kunyumi zambozi o katono. Kwango jagamba mamu mwala tuburi denae tatugamba biawa nikiwa jebiri. But yes, God hates sin and all kinds of sin. So to those and you know, uh, God hates only the the what? Only abortion and fornication. Maybe 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 locally fetulos and H A B B Bio Kabi to be too many or maybe you get wako, bibi ya wenzibu ka you know na ye so Proverbs, uh, it's Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. It says there are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. One, the haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil. A false witness who pours out lies and a man who stirs up dissension among brothers. I don't want to talk about the others. Maybe But I want to talk about the one of shedding innocent blood. Uh, there is where David talks about shedding innocent blood as well. When we talk about David, I, 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 I refer to David so much because David was a worshipper. He was not just a king. He was a worshipper. David wasn't a pastor or an apostle or an evangelist. He was a king. But in the position that he was in, there are things that God was not expecting him to do, like shedding innocent what? Blood. Because the man he killed, Uriah, was an, an innocent man. God did not, uh, uh, David did not kill Uriah with his hands. But he put them in the way that he was in the we bamte ka so boloku banga kola chi ati wakura chi kwa yali amazo ko enda ni mchala we ochitegera kati akoze echi bye cho wenzi ne atatadde ko nokuta ochitegera kati nawe omwala kati nganze Sharon ntinyeze atemaze no lubuto nendu jam it is wrong it is not right i am extending grace to you who has done it and somehow you didn't die. We thank God that God spared your life. God preserved you and you are alive. You get, but please don't do it again. Don't do it again. My pastor keeps saying that um, the Bible says you cannot, go, you cannot, God cannot be mocked. So she keeps telling us that when you, when the, when the Bible says that uh, God cannot be mocked, go kuloza nchi okoze echibi newe nenyarero enchano chidamu Gobolo zanti no ah kasana njaku dayo kanchkole enchanzi deyo kolechi ne ne ne. Ochitegele chini tuwecho. 
God cannot be mocked because that's what the Bible says. But she keeps reminding us that the right repentance is the kind of repentance. Zacchaeus, we are to go to the church. We are going to go to the church. We are going to go to the church. We are going to go to the Completely and he was a changed man. That is what I'm telling us, all of us. I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to you. I want you to understand that you're not alone. There are so many people out there doing this. I've told you that for me, I sinned in church. I was on the pulpit. I wasn't sitting down there. But um, at that point, I want you to know that it, it was not, I wasn't happy. Such kola nemberanga ndi aundi musanyufu na chikoze katibeba mani. No, it hurt me. It wasn't an intention. Like it is not your intention to do so. It wasn't my intention to do so. I found myself in this, and what would I have done? Like I've said, I chose not to abort that baby. I accepted it. I repented. I told you that I went and read Psalm 51 like as if it was the only scripture in the Bible. I read it over and over and over and over. Let me read it for you as well so that probably you would understand why I am telling you so. Um, just shortly, today I made sure that I, I have some few scriptures with me so that I'm not just quoting, I'm not just saying them out paraphrasing them um, Psalm 51 from the very first verse um, when we look at what they say on the it's like a heading it says so the chief musician is Psalm of David when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba Charawia Tegede so it says that have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. My sin is ever before me. So that sin was just right in front of me. I have the baby. And all sorts of, you know, whatever. And I'm pregnant. So it's like the pregnancy I'm carrying. So so uh, we are at verse we are at verse uh, f- three and my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest behold I was sharpened in, in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me I don't want to 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 usaga babuli anji ni azifundi musumba nida gezako baso mera nze binobi na soma dozolu toro na wenabera naro nento kano kuluzala ngan soma scripture no. Behold, I sharpen in iniquity and in, in sin my mother did conceive me. Um, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to, to hear joy and, glad, and gladness, that bonds which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide, hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thine presence, and take me not and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy generous spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways. Transgressors thy ways. I'm a transgressor that I may teach other transgressors God's ways. And sinners shall be converted unto God, unto thee. Deliver me from blood, blood guiltness. Deliver me. David, deliver me from blood 
guiltless, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness, even when we stop there on verse 14. Yari yene nya ore chibie che echo, yene nye chibie cho wenzi, yene nya okuto msajja, atari kumsango. Gwe musai guli oyo baby gwe mfulumiza, baby gwe mfulumiza murubuto, gatana tu kana kufulumiziwa, I'm terminating the pregnancy because I don't like it or because the father of the kid doesn't like it. So, there, is, there are those friends that you're surrounded with that are telling you about that baby. Please don't. Don't do it. If you have watched this, if you have someone who has, tell, who has told you don't do it, please don't do it. Carry that baby. I know of friends who were raped with babies. Na na kera ngabam raping zene no mana no lubuto romana tamani tata walu. Mubulumi obunge oyomana na muzala. Tori musanyo funti no omana goza domza de out of rape. Oba oba out of wenzi. Katunda sicha kwa galiza na we sicha we galiza ne toru jam luzali. Luzali. Kwango gomsai, gumanyo kululuma. Jakwebuza. Ibuzo binji. Rache chiro chimbera ko, rache chiri chimbera ko. Na inga toma nyiru wache ebi, nitu ebi enja ule chambi kubira ko. Ochitegeira. On this very show, I'm going to be hosting a few of those friends that I know, that can, that are willing to tell their stories to the world. And probably you will know that I'm not just a concocting stories, <laughs> but they are there. Jebidi, when to kidobi kugamba, nze omoe mtu kuvanumiri ze banga dene, okujoku okugamba kubi intubino. So young lady who is out there, please, if you end up like me in this place where you have, you are pregnant, and you know very well that what the pregnancy you got is you didn't choose to to get it as in when you were having with that man you didn't plan that you want to get pregnant nacho ino kumanya ate bobango gendo kweba kana omsajja obviously without protection ndi muloko linjogera ku protection yes without protection you must know that you're obviously going to get pregnant they say that chances are if you protected you won't nate waliyo no kufuna obradde wali no kufuna obradde kati been a, someone recently told me to Sharon fete tu chatia bulwadde tetwagala mbutu mwala ya chingamba na bine bie simu lokole so inzo loza anti mulokole ene da simu lokole bine bia gamba mwate zene da mvuta chaja change kasa chi percent obradde nja kunywe dagala mpone mkwano you don't want to go there you don't want to go there i can assure you and I know I am telling you this. I'm not HIV positive, but I have a loved one who has who has it. And you don't know how painful it is for us. You know, you don't know how painful it is for us to know that this person is going through that. So you don't want to go there. If you can still keep yourself in purity, please do. Please do. Me who, was, who is telling you this, I didn't have anyone to tell me that before. Nali naka luku ka, nali ndi mutomu muoyo. So ebi ya sexual purity, bichi nali sibi manyi. Atecho ino kumanya. The sin of, um, the sexual sin is very, is very addictive. Very, very addictive. So for me, I'm not going to judge you, my dear, who is out there, who is listening to me. I am extending grace to you because I was in this place and it was a very painful place to be in. It was a very painful position to be in when um, my friends, I had good friends and bad ones, so the bad ones told me to abort, I refused. The good ones told me, keep the baby. Keep the baby. You never know what this kid is going to be in future. Of obviously I had already made up my mind that I'm keeping this baby. So you can imagine that I chose to keep the baby and here we, we are with the baby. So the next part is I went to church. Actually that Sunday, that very Sunday I had to lead worship. 
I didn't want to do so, but our church had a twina. We, we prepared. We had to. We always prepared for our Sunday services, and when we prepared the Sunday service, we instead um, uh, we had leads. So I was among the leads, and Rita told me share no money to soke to maloku weleza to gende ogame mchala musumbe chiriwo after the praise and worship and all the, the music I stepped down Rita got me we went she was leaving um, church and going for another mission and I went and told her mommy um, I have something to tell you she told me what is it I told her that um, I'm pregnant she told me what she was in shock in shock I can't even that that could be a story of her own to tell as well but she was in shock she gave me that look of disappointment she was disappointed just like any other person be disappointed even my own auntie was very disappointed but I mean for her tell him local song pushing marriage and all that she was disappointed she felt bad at that point I had broke down I cried and she told me oh man Sharon um, let me go and think about it I'll communicate I'll, I'll talk to you when I'm, when I can when I can talk to you and I felt her pain and I felt so bad. And uh, we left because in that time I was very emotional. I was very emotional. I I'm not just I've not just caused this pain to myself, but to even people around me, people that love me. So the girl out there, if, especially for the worship leaders in church, you're not causing pain on you alone. Or let's actually first think about God. God hates sin. God doesn't want us to sin. But here we are. We have done it. So God feels bad that we have done that because he expects, he expects better you know and our always our spirits like Paul said the spirit is willing but the flesh the body is weak that is the point we are always at when we are doing these things when you're lying when you are fornicating for the marriage when you're committing adultery when you are um spreading rumors, false witnesses about people and all kinds of things you know, you are hurting yourself, you are hurting God, you are hurting the people around you, okay so um, at that moment I left and when I left it's like the church somehow the rumor went around, everybody got to know that Sharon is pregnant the worship ministry, that my friends in the worship team, the congregants, and everybody, the rumor spread, and everybody got to know that worship leader was fair. She has backslidden. So at that point, I was a backslidden person. At that point, I was a backslidden person. The Bible says that all have fallen short of the glory, have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That is what, that is what it looked like. That is how it was. So I start the journey of taking care of the pregnancy and living alone in a house alone where I am rejected. The church has literally thrown me out because I she told me to my face 
teyangea era mwe neba za katona anti teyangea na imwe baza anti teyangea ya chingambira watu swazi za nyo era ge maulira gali ku church che chigenda ku maso ku church era bayogedde da bantu eyo te abakadebe abamu ku bakadebe kanisa bagamanti ne bamala bakula bakula ngoze ku kitumuti gwe and at that point i felt rejected like there is a girl recently who came and met me at church and told me that uh, the holy spirit sent her to talk to me and i told her i am not i am not a pastor and she told me no god sent me specifically to you i am a worship, i was a worship leader in my church i got pregnant and um the church threw, threw me out and even the father of the pregnancy left me so i don't know what to do but somehow i gave birth to this baby mwana ya jane baby nga mtonyo and i told her my story a bit of it not fully a bit of it gave her advice of how to take care of the baby thanked her for not aborting that baby and looking i i advise her to look for something to do so that she can take care of that the baby and the pregnant the, the baby not the pregnancy she had already given birth she was just narrating her story how the church threw her out and everything else so as we come to the end of this episode um i've been thrown out of the church i've been i'm rejected literally i mean I'm, i'm an outcast literally i i want to urge the church today I'll begin with the church that mega iri demokanisa omuntu bwabera mu mbera ngeyo while they shouldn't go back on the pulpit because I'm not saying that had day yo katuti need that aina kudayo already ba example mbi sombate mso amuza yo katuti ne wabere wa abantu mu kanisa abasobola okumuyamba obutadda yo munsi kwegamba obutagwira dalate kugwa kuvira dalam blokole kubate tutuke tu, kisera ne tubakonde minga nyo omuntu nasala una gamba kanzi leyo mu oba mu dini yange e eh, kati nganze fetwali basiramu that mariam name jeriva nti nali ngambi oba kambuve kanve mbulokole nzileyo mbasiramu kwate bango bayo sanga bajakola chi bajja ku they embrace me so i urge the church Let's extend grace to these people. Let's extend grace to these people. They are not perfect beings and let me tell you to be truthful, salvation is a journey and it is a personal journey that only God can help you bring the right people to help you because you can imagine ne mu church ne wenjo gerira che manyi je bali abantu ngabe they are still fornicating they are still aborting and they are still doing things of sorts all kinds of things waluwo muimbe ya imba na gama ante kanisa dwali lyo lya banji dwali lyo eri abatanna ba corresponding ku medication kati ogena musali yo musanga gambe kanzire yo munjaga yange kanzire yo mubamala ya bwange kanzire yo mwebi ebintu ne baba sala babieteke ko so nsaba e kanisa Let's extend grace. Oleme kudayo na munsi okomewo osobola kubanga okola chi oweleza katonda nzerero mpereza katonda obviously I'll tell you I'll tell you uh mu episode ezi ezi jamaso nti obviously na dayo mu kanisa after god telling me dayo e kuba nalinsa ze wonzire mu bintu ebirala byenjo babulira so today I'll just end here that you don't have to feel rejected you can look for a particular church that can take you in and they will love you and they'll embrace you and they'll extend grace to you and they'll pray with you until you get out of that place okay so today i want to thank you so much uh, for listening to me once again and i want you to please please subscribe and share this message to any young girl out there who feels that way she feels rejected she feels like an outcast she does not know how to face people anymore she doesn't know how to to she she feels like she's the worst sinner of all no you can come back and repent you can pray 
the reason as to why Jesus Christ died for our sins was that we can come back and repent and the, the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse us, can cleanse us and wash us and we can become as white as snow. The Bible says that let us come together. Let's come reason together even if our sins are as red as crimson. Okay? So, the blood of Jesus will cleanse you. To ina kutia koma wo. Gwariye yonga walimu kanisa. No ojivamu. No ganze bansa liya salia domu sangu. Kwa nga bansa anga nyo enjaga. Bansa anga nyo muengu. Bansa anga zijamolutu. Bansa anga bandaba nino lubuto. Nibanga mba kati mvewo. Neda, toduka, koma wo. Koma wo mkanisa. Koma we wa kristo. Koma wo yesu akwa gala. Mukama akwa gala. Yeta kugoba anga ko. Aba ntuba inzo kuwa ba kugoba. Familia ya inzo kuwa ya kugoba. Na yeka tunda yeta kugoba anga ko. Koma wo. Kwe gairi de koma wo mkanisa. Gwa atali muloko lengo ndaba. Ngo ita mbele yo. Ulie yo toma ina chakoli la lubuto. Koma wo. Jangu, nawe jangu mukanisa yesu akweta aga yesu akwagala ata kuyito je kubanga watonde wa mu, 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 mu image ye you were created in his image gwe ya jamu olu uto mkwano ya lufu na gatoma nyiba kurepinga just come to Christ please come to Christ I don't even want to do an altar call but I want you to come to Christ find a church obagambe nzenze kuloko ka Please find a church. Do it. Your life will be spared. Your life will be preserved. You can become a, a better version of you. I'm telling you this because I have become a better version of me. I am a better minister today. I am not like I was before. God has helped me to become this person that you see today. I wasn't like this before. I wasn't like this before. So I want you to please Wekuwe mutima, okomeo, koma umu kanisa, koma uno nye katonda, buo saba aja kuulida. Nkuka kasa agenda kuulida. Aja kuulida. Koma uo guwa mikono je. To guwa mikono ja stani. Daudi ya gamba, kangwe mikono ja mkama oku singo kugwa mikono ja bala bimange. Katuwa guwa mikono ja stani. Owa mweje jaba waku za mwenzo, waku za mwambala yu wa mbintuwe mize michamu. Baba bakusula mikono jamu labe wostani. Tojigwamu. Jango gwe mikono jamu kama. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you so much. And let's continue with this series. And I know that you're going to learn more. There is so much in stock for you. God has so much in stock for you. God bless you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I love you.